Time for some sat him down. Time to hand out some pancakes. Let's eat, Jeff. Let's focus on the Bears trading up to grab second rounder tackle uh, Tevin Jenkins to protect Justin Fields. Yeah, listen, all we like to do is talk about some quarterbacks. How about we talk about some offensive line? Watch Jenkins go back at there. Top of your screen. Has a little throw by. Let's him go upfield. But here's the nasty part. Bam! Sits Ooh. him down. Bart knows. Hey, that defensive line was just in pursuit. Nah, nah. I'm going to get a little steal action. Put you on your back and then stand over you. Look at your sideline and tell you what I'm all about. One pancake because it was a little sucker move. Threw him by and then gave him the business late. For one pancake for the first one. Now, this I love. He's going to have a little reroute, right? The defensive end tries to go inside. What does he do? Same arm, same leg. Gets back inside. Puts him on his butt. And then gores him. It's You look at like a little bull with a little red cape, maybe. Go see that action on the ground. Go hit him. Jenkins finishes him on the ground. Two pancakes for a thing of beauty with some nastiness. And then five and I showed this a few months ago. Continue to show this one. Watch the fit and finish. Takes him, drives him, oh. doesn't take him to his own sideline. Oh. Takes him to that sideline. And look, when he finishes him in the sideline, you know that whistle's been blown about right here? He ain't stopping the leg churn. Hey, the freight train's already moving. I'm going to put you on your back. Three pancakes for Jenkins. Finish him in on the opponent's sideline. And then talking trash to everybody on the sideline. That's how old linemen do it, baby. <laughs> Three pancakes, some nastiness for the Chicago Bears tackle. Wow. What, what do you got, Bart? My Throwing thing is, I'm looking at you. Throw, throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. Man, come on, man. Like, <laughs> where's my teammates when the big dude jumping on me? Like, I need, I need some help. I need an easy button. Come on, man. Like, come on, man. The Wizards, bro, ref, ref. Bart, Bart, let me ask you. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever, has that ever happened to you? Let me just ask. Uh, no, but one time I went almost went night night because I got I got greedy as a rookie. I got a couple sacks and I never knew about the whole lineman blocking down eyeing me. And I thought I had another sack coming. I, and apparently the coach would probably cussed him out on the sideline. Yeah, yeah. My head hit the ground before the rest of my body did. But I got up quick. Flash knocked down. <laughs> got up like Zab Judah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, Jeff, let me ask you this. Can, can Jenkins solve the Bears' O-line issues? Because they've had a lot of them. Yeah, they, got, they do have a lot of them. Listen, you know, when I look at Jenkins, I know he's going in, and Ryan Pace made mention of him potentially playing left tackle, right? They just released their left tackle from last year. When I, when I look at this, He's more of an inside guy to me. I, I like him inside. Maybe at right tackle, he's the guy there. But then you have a Fetty, you're going to put him at left. So I'm interested to see how this thing works out. When they talk about having a competition and him playing right and left, I like Jenkins being a tackle in college, but more as a guard on the inside. If they keep him at tackle, I'm not sure it satisfies the, the issues. The one good thing you have, though, with, with uh, Nagy and Justin Fields is they can move the pocket, which sometimes helps outside offensive linemen, especially the tackles, be able to kind of take a break where they can step and hinge. They don't have to do as much true pass blocking. So it all depends on how they move that yeah. West Coast from Nagy with Justin Fields behind them. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.